What's up, Sea Bastard? Today, cooking with Sea Bass, we're making three kinds of fish. We're gonna find out which ones are better crappie, walleye, or splate. All freshly caught today. But first, you ain't making fish without a side dish. And here, we're not gonna go hick style. We're gonna make it the right way. We're gonna make a salad. Very simple. So you take your salad, put it in your bowl. Throw it in there. That'll be good enough. Unless you're a rabbit. And you put more. I'll give you a tip. You put your salt and pepper before, so when you mix it with the oil, it dissolves better. Salt and pepper. Done. Now you go to the store, you get some good olive oil. Don't get that cheap stuff, all right? Your mother wouldn't like you if you do that. Pay the extra money, virgin, olive oil. You pop that open, you look at the camera and you go, good enough. Don't ask me how many tablespoons I put on, I don't know. Uh, fig infused balsamic vinegar, I almost made a big mistake here. You don't put that in your salad, that's a disgrace. You get a balsamic vinegar of a Madonna. All right, don't ask me to say that in Italian. There's different kind of balsamic vinegar. This one is for leaf, salad. You put it in there. There you go, to your liking. You mix that thing. And there you go, you got your salad. Salad completed. Now, onto the fish. You're gonna need a cutting board. Chef knife, you don't need to have it out. I just wanted to show it off. Filet knife, freshly clean. We're gonna put it here. Now I'm gonna go get the fish. Now I got the fish here. We got a splake, a walleye, and a crappie. For you little vegans from Pet PETA or whatever, so you don't hate my video, we're not gonna get them in front of you. I have a video showing you how to clean walleye and all that stuff. So, a one, two, three, clean. All right, we made our salad. We cleaned our fish, as you can see. Splake, walleye, crappie. Warm up the pan. It's not a steak. You don't want to put it high. We're gonna put it right in the middle, at medium. You got your expensive olive oil, you're gonna put that to the side. You're not gonna do this crease to the fish you're cooking. You're gonna grab yourself some butter. Some real butter. You use margarine, don't go fishing. Just go buy yourself some fish sticks, save you the time. We're gonna use some butter on here. It's gonna melt down. It's too much butter, scoop it up. Butter's melted. We're gonna let the pan warm up a little bit. We're gonna cook them all at the same time. They all have the same density. The crappie obviously is gonna be cooked better. You don't wanna overcook those. It's like a steak, you wanna leave a little, little juice. You don't want to dry them out too much. Put the wall ski in there. And the splake. Wash your hands so I don't want to die of AIDS. Something like that. You can tell your fish is fresh when it's curling away from the heat still. That's how fresh. That fish is. So I'm not. I'm not gonna break it down. I'm gonna let it cook. Oh, as salt and pepper as it's cooking. It's not like a steak. You don't put your salt first. Little salt. You don't need a lot of salt with those fish. A little tip when you're doing the salt: don't go so close. Go high. Wider spray pattern. If you go close, you'll get salt deposit and you'll be like, ooh. Tastes like the road in the winter. We got this cooked. Before anything happens, time for a little brewski rating. I can get this freaking thing to line up. There you go. We got the Refined Fool Brewing Company. This is the Illiterate Librarians. Librarians? Yeah, that's why it's a good beer for me because I can't read properly. Grapefruit IPA from Sarnia, Ontario. So. Uh, 
a little too much uh, fuzzy stuff. I'll screw that, I'll just drink it off the bottle. It's good beer, strong, great food taste, aftertaste. Doesn't have that uh, kick aftertaste, so you know, that's starch into your mouth and stays there forever. It's got a good aftertaste, doesn't stay there too long. There you go. So, I'm gonna start with the walleye. First bite, see how it tastes. Juicy, fresh, does not taste gamey or fishy at all. Now have another bite. That's a 7.7 .7 out of 10, which is really good. Two thumbs up from Seabass. Wash my mouth with a brewski. Have some salad with the balsamic vinegar. Look clear my taste buds. And there you go, I just dirtied my brand new table. Salad done. Clear it out with some brewskis. <coughs> there you go, I'm gonna die on YouTube. <laughs> One in the wrong hole. Alright, the splake. Now, best part of a fish is always the talent. From the rib cage to the talent. You go to the restaurant, you cook for your wife, you keep yourself the tail end, you're cooking, she gets the rest, it's not bad, but the tail end of the fish is always the better part. You know that part that goes in like this? That is the best part. There's no bones, so much better. Don't tell her I said that. She's gonna dislike that video, and then I'm gonna hate you. Nope, nope, doesn't smell like fish. Much more dense meat, but man, it's good. It's got flavor to it. Dense, a bit drier, but it's got that brook trout salmon flavor. Wow. I didn't think the splake would beat the law, but that's a 7.9 on the sea bass scale. Onto the crappy. I'm probably just getting drunk doing this review. Onto the crappy, which in my opinion, the crappy should be both. We're gonna try it. Yeah, don't, you don't smell the fish at all. good it's good it's I, I prefer it over the walleye but if you're hungry you gotta keep more so I'm confused here crappy Man. Crappy, 7.6. Under the walleye, that walleye is delicious. The white meat, we bled it. I mean, no disrespect to your crappy lovers. Walleye, so crappy, walleye, splake. And it all depends what they're eating too. So don't give me a thumbs down because you disagree and you're grumpy, all right? Thanks for watching this. Tune in, let me know in the comments below if you want to see any other tasting like this. Smash that like button or that dislike button, I don't give a fuck. let's go. I shouldn't say that, eh? Salad, 10 out of 10.